here we have our gooseberry bush in the backyard because the gooseberry bush in the back in the front was didn't turn out well even green ones are so so sweet let me p pick a purple so pick these two ones. let's try it Not as sweet as the green ones. Oh, they look like baby lanterns. This one is really fat. Pick the pink, pink one. This is what the green one looks like and this is what the purple one looks like. Very different. This is the gooseberry bush that we have in the backyard. We have one in the front that's been prolific throughout the years. But uh, last year it suffered from the last winter we had. So it's still recovering from that. Our backyards did well. Let's see, let me pull out some of these so you can see. Underneath, there's a lot of gooseberries. So we're going to be harvesting those today. We're a little late in harvesting it. It's uh second week of July. There's some thorn on this, so I have to be careful, but if I pull this out, you can see. It's full of berries. So, we're gonna harvest this, and we're gonna freeze most of it, because they actually taste good when they're frozen. And that way they have, you can have them in your freezer for a long time and snack on it all winter long. I think I'm gonna leave those for another week or so until they turn deep purple. So I think I'll come back here in the next few days to uh, get more those. Should be right in by then. Uh, this is what we got. It's quite a lot. The gooseberry bush in front didn't do so well this year. And I think it's gonna die. So in the spring, we're gonna dig this up and put it in the front. Cause right now it's just in the corner of our backyard. Well guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below. Give a thumbs up. Bye.